What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new game for you guys today and that is The Survivalist by Team 17. So we managed to get our hands on this a little bit earlier than when it's supposed to be coming out so we thought we'd bring you guys a couple of extra episodes so shout out to the guys over at Team 17 for the key and uh, we're going to be doing a series on this, we're going to be doing some tips and tricks videos, all the good stuff that uh, you guys know us for for ARK. We're going to be bringing it to the survivalist. You can download this on Steam as well guys, so feel free to check it out. Now guys, as you can see, we've got a bunch of stuff and wreckage. Now, this is pretty much a survival based game. Uh, real quick though, we are just going to change... Uh, da, 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 cancel. I'm just double checking real quick. I would recommend if you guys do plan on uh, playing this as well to switch over the bindings as well. Um, so to pick up stuff, you have to use spacebar. I personally think E is probably the better button for that. So I'm just going to swap it out real quick. Um, yeah. Uh, no. Apply. There we go. All right, now we should be able to pick up stuff with E. So I would recommend uh, changing your binding as well from spacebar to E because it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to constantly move your hands uh, all over the place. So guys, this is the survivalists. Pretty much you are shipwrecked, literally. Like that's it, we're shipwrecked. Uh, we're shipwrecked on this island. You can see this is our island here. Um, looks like there's another island out here. And you get monkeys that you can t sort of tame and they can pretty much do everything for you, which uh, Sounds good in paper. And uh, from what I've played so far, we've, we've played about four hours worth of it, and uh, it works really effectively. So first off, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just come around here. We're gonna take a little bit of a scoutsy's look to see what we've got in the area. Oh, there is a lot of heavy foliage over here. There's our first monkey up the top there. We're gonna get to freeing him in a second. So we're gonna access our crafting menu, which you can see here, this is pretty much like the stuff you can craft straight off from your inventory. We're gonna swap that over there, and we're just gonna mine some rocks here. Actually, I don't think we really need to mine rocks. I think we've got enough pebbles as it is. That's fine. We'll just grab some of that. Um, yeah, so we can craft, you can build, you can fight. There's a whole heap of stuff you can do. You can use your monkeys to do all that sort of stuff as well. We're just going to grab some long grass and pebbles. And uh, the crafting tree kind of has like a sort of like a progression meter, I guess you could call it, where you need to craft the previous blueprint slash item in order to move on to the next one. We'll show you what you mean, what we mean when we open up the crafting screen next. Right now we're just gonna get a little bit of grass and a little bit of timber. Okay, so you guys saw us open that up. We could craft the hand axe. And now since we've crafted the hand axe, it's opened up into a bunch of different stuff. So right now we're just gonna make the multi-tool, which is what you use to pretty much build whatever you want. We're gonna make some rope here as well, because we're gonna need rope later down the line. Plus it also unlocks all this extra stuff. And we're just gonna build the tool handle just to unlock the final bit, which is the torch. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna get our monkey buddy free. And uh, the cool thing about the monkeys that are in the, the cage, I mean, it's not really a cool thing, but the thing about the monkeys in the cage is that you can actually just free them straight away and you don't need to feed them any sort of food or anything like that to get them. So you can see right there, we've just gotten our first monkey. So we are going to get this little dude to follow us. Uh, let's get him to follow. And what you can do is you can actually teach monkeys to do stuff for you. So we're going to show you that right now. I'm just going to get a little bit of extra stuff. And we're going to craft another hand axe for our little monkey dude. Alright. And we're going to give him this hand axe. Here you go, mate. Uh, take that for me. Alright, so now what we can do is we can actually teach him to chop down trees. So we're going to go teach. And because he's got an axe, you can see that he's got the banana. So you've got until that banana timer runs out before you have to reteach them kind of thing so right now we just showed him that we want him to cut trees and that's what he's going to do he's going to cut down trees for us now if you leave your monkeys long enough they will deforest the entire island so we're going to let this dude do his thing we're going to set up a little bit of a base um somewhere around here probably just a little one over here on this uh starter section here i guess for now just in this area so you've got your handcrafting stuff, and then we can actually go into R, and this is like your big boy stuff. So this is the crafting uh, tier. So we're going to just build a bed first, so we can sleep just in case uh, anything happens. And you see here we need the recipe items. So we're going to come into here, we need to make the straw bundle first. Done, we can make one of those. Done, and we're going to add that, and we need to equip our multi-tool to build. Done. Okay, 
So you can obviously get your monkeys to do this as well. You can literally get your monkeys to pretty much do everything. Um, and you can see here we need a blanket. So we're going to come back into here. We're going to make a makeshift bed blanket. And we are going to add that. And just like that, we've got ourselves a bed. So we're going to sleep right now. Uh, probably shouldn't have slept because it's the middle of the daytime. We're going to save and sleep real quick. Just to, uh, yeah, see now it's night time. That's fine. I don't know if the monkey harvesting continues while you sleep. I'm not too sure. He's doing a good job though. So like I said, you can pretty much use these guys to level the entire forest. Okay, so we've got our bed. Let's open up this and you'll see that we'll unlock three, four, yeah, three new items. Uh, so we've got a straw wall, we've got a pebble floor tile, a campfire, and a lightweight bed. So right away, we're going to build a campfire. So that we can unlock the next tier of uh, blueprints, which will pretty much allow us access to the crafting table. Which is one of what we want to get access to, because that will allow us to craft better stuff. So you can see there, new blueprint unlocked, and we come into here. You can see there, we've got a table, we've got a multi-purpose pole, we've got a chest. Um, I don't remember which one exactly. I'm pretty sure it's off the chest. We're going to build a chest up here next to our bed. And you can see we've pretty much got all the ingredients. Uh, we need a little bit of wood. So we're going to come over here and chop this tree down. Even though our axe is going to break, that's fine. We can just make another one. We've got plenty of stone. Awesome. All right. Let's chop these trees down real quick. We're going to need a little bit more wood. There we go. Give me all that. Awesome. Yeah. So having to press space bar to pick all this stuff can be a little bit tedious. That's why I recommend changing it over... Uh, to E, it's a lot easier and it's closer to your, your WASD keys as well. Alrighty, so we've got the wood, we can add that and we can chuck our multi-tool back on. Craft that bad boy up. And this is going to allow us to store, store some stuff, which is awesome. And you can also cook and craft stuff. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in this game. Uh, you can see in our bottom left-hand corner here that we've got... Uh, so the inside heart is your food meter. The outside is your actual health. So try not to get the two confused. We're going to eat some berries here, and you'll see that our food will go up. These also will restore health if you have, um, if you've taken damage or anything like that. Okay, so we've got our chest. We're going to unlock the next tier, which is the crafting bench, a medium chest. Um, so right now, we're going to make the crafting bench like that. And we can add pretty much all of that stuff. We just need to make some stone chunks, which we can do. Make that. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up this and we're going to put all that in and that and the coconuts. Awesome. Give me that. And we can add that. Awesome. And just like that, we've made our first crafting bench. So this is what you want to do straight off the bat. You want to get into your crafting bench ASAP. Ideally, what you want to do first is find your first monkey. It'll generally be close to where you start off. Uh, you saw we pretty much started in this area. The monkey was just up here. You want to try and find your first monkey and then get the dude to craft, uh, not craft, sorry, to just take down as much stuff as you possibly can get him to do because that will allow you to just get a ton of materials. Um, don't worry about picking it all up because you can actually get your monkeys to do that as well. Uh, we're going to teach him again and we're just going to go like that. I'm going to try and get him to come up here so I can give him the tool without... Let's just pick all this up first. There we go. All right, so he's got the axe and he's going to continue harvesting all the trees for us. Which is awesome. Uh, we're actually going to change our dude's appearance as well. There it is. Uh, let's change our name. There we go. And skin color. We're going to go for a fluorescent blue. So we can actually see our dude in the nighttime. Uh, body, not too worried. We're going to go with an actual shirt. And we're going to give ourselves... Heck yeah. And we'll go with that bad boy. Alright, done. Um, you can also actually customize your monkeys as well. And you can see here we've got uh, milestones. This tells you how many crafting recipes and stuff like that. You also get treasure maps. Um, and if you do certain things with your monkeys, you get doubloons, which you can use to purchase items and stuff like that. Um, there's a bit of lore profile for you to customize yourself. And then you can obviously uh, customize your monkeys as well. So you can see here we've got Voxel. Um, and these guys actually do level up their skills. So you can see here he's got current uh, harvesting. So it's 125% damage, 125% speed, 166% efficiency. And you see he's able to do all the other stuff as well. So cra gathering, building, crafting, combat. Yeah, it's a lot of fun stuff. Um, and you can change the color of your monkeys as well, I believe. Maybe not at the moment. I don't know why it's not letting me change the color. Maybe we need to wait till we get another monkey. Okay, now that we've got the crafting bench, we can come up here and you'll see that our initial sort of crafting thing that we would normally press make by hand is now extended, which is awesome. 
So first thing we're gonna make is a flimsy axe because we can give this to our monkey and they will actually enable him to harvest a lot better and a lot longer. So let's add all of that and we are gonna equip our multi-tool. So you definitely wanna outfit your monkey with the best tools you can, you can possibly get at that current stage that you're at. So we've just got the axe now. We are gonna make another one of those and another one of those for ourselves. Add that and make the new axe. And now this will branch off and it'll unlock the pickaxe and I believe the shovel. Pretty sure it'll unlock the shovel and the pickaxe. We'll find out in just a second. Awesome. All right, let's pick up both those axes. We're gonna cancel that. We're gonna choose the new recipe. There you go, pickaxe and the flimsy shovel. Okay, uh, we've also got a makeshift rug which we're not gonna bother with at the moment. Uh, I will make this makeshift bowl just so that uh, we can unlock the next tier. And you'll see that'll unlock the decorative wall hanging. Don't really need that at the moment. I just like unlocking it all first so you know what uh, you can build. Uh, we're going to make the wooden club and this will add the bone club, I believe, off the top of my head. Um, and if you position yourself right, you can actually cut multiple trees and multiple rocks and stuff like that at the uh, at the same time as well. So keep that in mind as well. It definitely helps. Speeds thing up, things up a little bit. All right, uh, so we're going to add all that. We're going to equip our new multi-tool. Awesome, done. Cancel that up. Let's go choose new recipe. Uh, that'll give us the bone club. Yep, so we can use that for attacking and whatnot. Okay. Uh, we're just going to do... Oh, I thought we had more wood. All right, cancel that. What we're going to do now is... Let's come over here. We're going to store our coconuts. We're going to hold on to that for the time being. Put that away. That can go away and that can go away. Okay, well, let's move this down here. We're gonna give one of these axes to our monkeys. Um, and we're actually gonna go on the search for some more monkeys. Now, in order to... Oh, there goes our little campfire. In order to sort of tame more monkeys, if they're not in cages, you will have to feed them an item. And look, look at the damage our monkey's already done over here. Hey, big dude, how you going? Can you take this for me as soon as I pick up all the stuff around you? There we go. All right, so he's got an axe again. He's just going to keep hacking away at all these trees here. And he's going to be a lot more efficient now because he's got an axe instead of the hand axe. All right. Um, so we are going to go ahead and make a, an item. So like I was saying, you need a specific item in order to tame up monkeys that you come across. So for that specific item, I believe we need to make the fruit smoothie first. So let's add that. We're going to equip our multi-tool again. Cooking up a storm, cooking up a storm. Let's go. All right, sweet. So that's going to give us uh, our first cooking recipe, which is our fruit smoothie. And we're going to cancel that. Okay, here we go. So you can see here, we've just learned the monkey meal. Now, whenever you decide to go out guys, like literally whenever, always carry some of these with you. Because if you come across a monkey, I haven't come across a monkey that hasn't requested anything other than this. So you wanna make sure that you've always got one of those on hand. Otherwise you could potentially miss out on getting a monkey. Now you can always go back for it. Don't get me wrong. They, uh, they don't despawn or anything like that, but it's easier, especially if you're out wandering and stuff like that to just make sure that you've got what you need in the immediate vicinity so that you don't have to worry about trekking out to wherever it was that you were and uh, having a, to try and find the monkey again and then tame it up again. So always try and carry some of these fruit bowls with you, the monkey fruit bowls or whatever they are, because yeah, if you come across a monkey and you don't have this stuff, you won't be able to tame them. So let's make that again. Awesome, we're gonna make another one of these bowls. Awesome, and we're gonna craft another one, and I'm gonna go one more just for good measures. I don't think we'll find three monkeys, but like I said, it's always good to have some on you. There we go, awesome, pick up all that. Okay, cool. So now that we've got the basics done, uh, we're gonna go out and do a little bit of adventuring. So let's put all that away. We'll get our club up here, get the berries up here. Alrighty, awesome. So we're gonna leave our monkey over here to just continue harvesting everything. Like, look at this. He's doing a great job. He's doing a bang up job. He's just demolishing everything. Um, and you can also check the tool health, I'm pretty sure, in the inventory. Maybe not. No, maybe not. 
That's fine. Look, he just harvested like four thingies worth. So we're going to make our way up here. We're going to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, there's nothing here. So what I would recommend doing first is trying to find more monkeys because having more monkeys makes the game a, like a whole lot easier. So you can currently see here, we're not really picking up any of this stuff. Main reason being because we can actually get a monkey to pick it up. Uh, if we really wanted to, we could get our monkey that's harvesting all this stuff to pick it up. But for now, we're going to leave him to just continue chopping everything up. Just so we don't have to worry about harvesting resources or anything like that. And you can see here, we got our first monkey. Now, like I said, he wants a monkey meal. We're going to give him that. Boom. He is now following us around. And... That's great. So this is why you always want to carry some of these monkey meals around because I have yet to see a monkey that does not want one of these when you uh, first tame them and they're not in a cage. So that'll allow you to pretty much tame them. Okay, so now what we're going to do, since we've got this secondary monkey, we're going to teach this big dude to pick everything up. So you, mate, we're going to teach you and we're going to grab the timber. We're going to grab the long grass. We're going to grab the pedals like that. And what we're going to do, we're going to walk back to the base. And then we are going to open that. And we're going to put all that in. And now the monkey will go out. He'll pick up all the stuff out there. And he will put it in this chest. Now, he's going to do it until A, there's no stuff left. Or, uh, or B, the chest is full. So we're going to let him do that. It's probably, he'll probably be able to fill up quite a bit of it. Let's take a look inside. Let's see what he's done. Yeah, he's got plenty of space in there to, to be able to do that. So you can see there, he's picking up all the wood, taking it with him. We're going to let him do that. We're going to head out. We're going to see if we can find some more monkeys. The uh, other monkeys still continuously just clear in the area. So good. Okay, uh, we've got a little bit of a shrine down here. Looks like it. Let's take a look. Normally you can find uh, treasure and stuff like that. So you get access to treasure maps when you find them on the beach and stuff like that in bottles. Um, it doesn't look like we can really do much there, but let's come out here. We're going to continue exploring and you can see here we got another monkey. So another monkey meal for this guy. Let's oh, come back, buddy. I'm trying to feed you, make you my friend. Let's give him an item. Done. So we now got another monkey, which is awesome. Uh, and you can teach monkeys to fight and stuff like that as well. Um, I found the plane before, but you can't harvest anything from it. So I think it's just there for aesthetics because yeah, you can't harvest anything there. Um, but you can see here, this is where you find the treasure maps. So we're going to pick this up. Um, okay, we know that already. And we've got a bit of corpses here, which is always fun. We've got a pirate flag. Anything else worth? Some cannonballs can be sold. Okay, so you will find a merchant. All right, there's our first baddie. Let's stay away from him for the time being. We can probably take him. I just, we've got our monkey here. Okay, looks like we're not going to have a choice. So we're going to get our club out. Now, your monkeys can die, so do be careful if you do take them into combat. And we did just find a vault. We've got to wait for our stamina to recharge. Done. Okay, so that was our first dude killed. Awesome. That went relatively easy. Um, there are going to be more of them because you can they'll generally be in groups. Um, and once you've explored quite a bit, you will eventually find these vaults. Now, these vaults are filled with... I wouldn't say filled, but you can find like loot and a whole bunch of good stuff in them. So make sure you come prepared though, because there are quite a few enemies in there and they do deal some damage. So make sure you've got some food. You can take some extra monkeys as well with you. Make sure you've got some decent weaponry. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself very outnumbered very quickly in there. Okay, awesome. So we found uh, our first couple of vaults, which is really good. Uh, we're going to pick up some berries here just because we uh, took a little bit of damage from that fight. And you can see there the berries restore our health and our food. Awesome. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've been through here. Let's just search through these real quick. We don't really have too much inventory space, which um, that's fine. Oh, we can take that actually, we've got space. All right, awesome. So we can break these as well for, for the bones to make our bone club. We're gonna just leave that for the time being though. We're gonna try and make our way back to our starting area, which I believe shouldn't be too far. We're gonna stand on this pressure plate and we got our first chest, awesome. All right, let's break this bad boy. Actually, we'll carry this because uh, we don't have the inventory space to crack it open at the moment. So let's come up here. We've got another bottle as well. Let's drop that real quick and pick that up. Okay, that's just a little note thing. So I think we should be able to walk around here. Yep. You can uh, swim and like walk in the water. As long as you don't reach this, this dark patch of water, 
Once you hit this, you need the raft to be able to go out there. You won't be able to walk out there, so take note of that as well if you want to journey out into the ocean. You can hunt fish and like sharks and stuff like that in this uh, shallow depths. Once you get to that deep depths, though, you're in a you're in a bit of a pickle. Alrighty, let's just drop that for now. We're gonna come into here. Let's take a look at how much he's done. He's he's getting there. They, it only improves over time. All right, uh, we are gonna make another chest real quick because we are running out of space a little bit. Let's build one there and build one there. And I think we just need some wooden rope. Yep. All right, let's drop that. Drop that, and drop that, and drop that. We don't need any of that. Hopefully this monkey doesn't pick it up. No. Okay, let's take that wood. Uh, we need the grass. Awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we are going to teach our monkey here to, to make stuff. So, first we need that. We need the rope. Like that. All right, awesome. Let's add that. We have taught our monkey now. We haven't taught our monkey, but we're going to teach that one. And we're going to go craft. We're going to make this chest. And now we should be able to put our stuff in that chest. And he should be able to make it as soon as we give him the tool. Can we make... Oh, stupid stuff. There we go. All right, so now he should go straight for this. As soon as we... Put that in there. Oh, we actually don't have any rope, so he's not going to be able to do it. Hold on, let's make some rope for him real quick. You can queue all this up as well. Like, you can get your monkeys to to make it all. Maybe we have to manually add the ingredients as well, I think. Possibly. Alright, let's add the ingredients for him. There we go. Now he'll go and make it, which is awesome. So, yeah. Um, but you, obviously, you, you want to set up like a sort of production line and... Uh, and get your monkeys going and have some delivering the goods and then some crafting it. And you can see there, just like that, we've got our dude crafting stuff. Okay, so now this guy's just going to be chilling here until we give him something else to craft. So we're actually going to get him uh, to, to harvest some more stuff. Let's just put all this junk in here. All the selling stuff, we can just put it in here. We don't need it to carry it around. Awesome. Um, I'll put the bone in there as well. And we'll grab that. Okay, uh, chuck that in, chuck that in, chuck that in, and that. Awesome. Okay, you, mate, we are going to get you to... Hold on, let's do this. And he can make his own axe. So we need the handle. We need, I think it was some rope. Yep. And the stone thingy. So we're going to need a bit of stone. Make that, make that. Okay, and if we add all that, he should come over here and he should start crafting. Over here, mate. Over here. Maybe it's because it's on the workbench. Oh, wait, no. Give me that back. Alright, so if we teach him. Over here. No. Alright, he doesn't want it. Okay, that's fine. It's probably because it's a different uh, thingy. Um... You can follow me. We're going to make this for him. And we're just going to get him to harvest all these trees down here. Just on the beach. So we get more palm leaves and we get more coconuts and stuff like that. Oh, he's still in teaching mode. That's fine. He's going to try and craft stuff now. Alright. And we are going to give you this, mate. Here you go. Give you that. And teach you. And we want you to come over here and harvest stuff. There you go. Alright. So he's going to harvest all that now for us, which is awesome. For now, we're going to put that away. We're going to come up here and check how it's all going. Yeah. Our dude looks like he's run out of a tool. I'll give you that one, mate. There you go. Yep. He's still going. Look at this. Look at it all. So, yeah. we got these guys constantly running back and forth. We're obviously going to go and get more monkeys along the line. But uh, for now, I think we're doing a pretty good job. So we're going to sleep here because it's night time. All the big baddies come out at night. Awesome. We are going to need to eat something. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, monkey deliveries. Okay, so now that we've got our monkeys all going, uh, we'll get you. Hold on, let's get you and I'll teach you. And you can break the rocks now. There you go. All right, and we're going to crack open uh, this chest. We're going to see what we get. What do we got? 
We've got a bow and arrow. We've got some rope, some money. Let's pick up the rope. We'll pick up the bow and arrow. Uh, we'll drop the rope off. We don't really need to carry the rope with us, but we'll take the bow and arrow with us, though. That's definitely going to come in handy. All right. So we're going to continue exploring a little bit uh, because every time you start a new game on the on the world, you get a randomly generated island. So every time is different. Um, but you can see here how Monkey has demolished this bloody the land here. You can see he's all the way up here now. What's he doing? Is he just stuck? He's just still harvesting. That's great. Keep doing that, mate. You're doing good. Oh, we need a bit of food here. So we might have to find some berries. I think we ran past some anyway. We can set up a trap, I guess, to try and start catching the little rabbits. Graves of Upgrass. All right. Voxel has leveled up. I think that was our first monkey. Let's take a look here. Yep, so he's full leveled up in harvesting, um, gathering. Oh, he's like, okay, I didn't realize that. So your first monkey is actually buffed. Like it's a lot stronger than the, the other monkeys. I did not realize that because if we look here, he's gathering, he's building and he's crafting and his combat are all higher than these guys. And you only get their leveled up when they actually do the the thing they're told to do so i did not realize that okay well we're gonna probably switch him over now that he's harvesting his full we might switch him over to the gathering and see if he can help out that other monkey gather the stuff uh but for the time being we're gonna just let him do his thing while uh, we're out here exploring still harvesting and all that sort of stuff so we'll just take a look around see what we can find um, you just have to check which stuff's harvestable sometimes because you're not 100 percent sure all the time all right we're gonna search this beach Grab some extra treasure maps, see if we can find some extra stuff. And another monkey, cheering. Uh, they're the Vaults and Labyrinth I mentioned. Alrighty, let's give this guy a monkey meal. Here you go, dude. Welcome to the crew. Alright, we're going to go hunting for some fish now. See if we can... I don't know if we can use the bow and arrow. I'm going to try. Yep, that works. Alright, so we can pick... We can hunt with the, the bow and arrow. I was not 100% sure. Oh, we managed to hit a fish all the way out here. Awesome. Let's get that one. Awesome. So this is going to give us a little bit more food than like the berries and stuff like that. But you obviously can't eat it raw. So we're gonna, we are going to have to cook it. What's over here? Is this just a, a little tiny chilling island? There are some berries. I will take some berries. Awesome. All right. Let's grab all that. We're going to eat these berries. Give us a little bit of food. We can go very far out on this island. Okay. That's it. That's it. Red ends there. All right. Let's take a look at the map real quick. All right. Um, do we take you back with us, mate? I might get this guy back to our little uh, starting area. We'll get him to collect all the gear, all the stuff as well. He can help collect everything, and uh, we'll bring you guys back when we're back out here exploring some more. Now, guys, one thing that I forgot to mention as well is that you can actually pick up chests. So what you want to do is, if for example, we've got this huge area covered with a bunch of materials and stuff like that. We can build some chests right here, like in the center of it. It'll save our monkeys running back and forth all the time. And the added bonus is that once the chests are full, you can actually pick them up with you and carry them. So we're going to make a chest here and we'll just make another one here. I don't think we're going to need this second chest, but we'll make it anyway. And what we can actually do is we can just teach our monkey here to... Uh, to collect all the gear in the area and he'll just put him straight up in these chests It will save him time running back and forth to our base We've still got that other monkey filling up that other chest there But uh, this will make things a bit easier on this dude and it'll not speed it up But it'll it'll definitely help so we're gonna open this and we're just gonna put all this in here for him And he should get to work putting it all in and it's gonna be a lot quicker than what the other one is doing at the moment So that's awesome. We're gonna get that going uh, we're going to get back to base. We're going to cook up this extra fish meat that we've got so that we can survive for a little bit longer. And yeah, we've still got this guy running back and forth. He did get an extra level on him, I believe. Um, and it looks like Voxel has completely run out of things to harvest. Alrighty, guys. And uh, we've got our monkeys collecting everything. You can see here this area is slowly clearing up. Uh, Cake is still gathering, Ed is still chopping all the stuff, Newton is also still gathering. Uh, I gotta figure out how we edited them. I did it the other day, I don't... Monkey Glossary? Yeah, I did it the other day, I can't remember how we edited them. Voxel is somewhere, uh, which one's Voxel? Hold on. 
Treasure maps, maps, monkeys, voxel. We don't know which one's voxel. Uh, Voxel's run out of stuff to harvest, so we might get him helping out with the gathering of things. Yeah, here he is. Oh, maybe he's just out of a tool. Possibly. I am not too sure. Uh, we're going to go like this and... No, he's still got an axe. Uh, teach. We'll get him to just get some extra stuff. He can just help pick up all this mess. And put it in here. There you go, mate. Alright, so he's going to help out. But uh, yeah, we're probably going to wrap up the episode for today. So this one was just a bit of a how to get started, plus our first sort of episode of the series. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We will be putting out more um, how-to videos, like we'll be showing you how to exactly use the monkeys to gather stuff, how to craft, all that sort of stuff. We'll be showing you how to do the vaults and everything like that and how to use them for combat and everything. So make sure you guys turn on notifications. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like as well, guys. It really helps out. But other than that, guys, we're going to wrap up the video for today. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. And I'll catch you in the next one.